Sonic Hedgehog is a game where medium-sized animals save small-sized animals from the clutches of large egg. You play as Sonic Hedgehog, a blue mouse who runs so fast his legs become donut. Sonic learned to run by avoiding the police. This is because he cannot pay his taxes and drops his life savings anytime he stubs a toe. Follow Sonic as he speed runs his way through slides, loops, boingos, spikers, and other obstacles, sometimes including the floor. Or don't follow him, depending on how the camera feels. When he is on screen, Sonic can rev himself up into a spin ball because he is immune to motion sickness. But not seasickness. Like other mice, Sonic cannot breathe underwater. He is, of course, fine in space, where it is easy to breathe because there is no water in the way. If Sonic wants to scramble large egg, he's gonna need one thing. And that's to look fabulous! Collect hair dye crystals and rub for instant blonde. Sonic has lots of friends to help him collect those rocks and rock that look. Here come three of Sonic's best friends right now. Mighty the Armadillo, Danica Patrick, and United States President. There is a strict friend dress code, however. The boys wear shoes, and the girls wear entire outfits. Gotta cover up those private parts. And if the internet has taught me anything, it's that the toe is the sexiest part of the body. Oh, yeah. Speaking of sexy, large egg. And large egg isn't the only oval Sonic has to worry about. There's a whole cavalcade of eggy boys ready and raring to cause trouble. You got large egg, rotten egg, scrambled egg, century egg, deviled egg, got Easter eggs, egg benedict. Woo! With such a large collective of villains, even Sonic needs a break every once in a while. So he goes over and steals ideas for recreational activities from his rich neighbor Mario, and then does them worse, like hosting parties and driving cars. That's so unnatural, Sonic shouldn't drive a car. You know what? You're right! Sonic isn't old enough to drive! None of his friends are. <laughs> oh boy, Amy is 12? <laughs> Uh-oh. The only one who is old enough to drive a car is Gamer Sonic, an experimental Sonic whose scientists designed to look like a gaming PC. He resonates with the hair dye crystals because they, like him, possess the power of rainbow gamer keyboards. Gamer Sonic is pretty popular, which is impressive considering the fact that his first appearance was in a relatively unknown side game that came pre-packaged with a pet simulator. But now he's popular enough to get his own spin-off games, like everyone's favorite, Shadow Shoot. There are other Sonics too, like Classic Sonic. Back in the classic times, Sonic used to be 2D and round, but then he got a third D, which stands for DeLong Legs. How'd he grow so much? Well, I guess he must have touched a thunderstone. Haha, <laughs> that's a funny mouse joke. Sonic goes through lots of phases, including sword, werewolf, POW, and bandana, which the fans have decided is the most egregious of these somehow. Sonic fans are famous for making thousands of original characters and better games than Sega does. Sonic spent the better part of the last decade face planting down a spiral staircase into mediocrity, making games so bad they literally retconned themselves out of existence. It wasn't long before making fun of Sonic became status quo, so commonplace that nearly everybody was doing it. Sonic saw all this from his hospital bed and said, Oh, so people like making fun of Sonic, huh? I could do that. I could be cool. Because if anyone knows cool, that's Sonic Hedgehog. And so Sonic returned from the underground, shedding his 90s energy like a caterpillar and emerging as a beautiful self-deprecating 2010s butterfly. Come on, come all, he shouted from his carnival stall and take a pot shot at the blue mouse. Only two pints a pop. Get it while supplies last, which is forever. Come humanize us through humor and revitalize our failing brand. And somehow this actually worked. So Sonic is back and he's rolling around at the speed of sound faster than ever before, until something stupid inevitably trips him up again. People are comparing you to me? <laughs> You're not even good enough to be my fate. Jesus Christ!
Hey, thank you for watching. I know this is the part that normally has commercials, but don't click off yet. This one's important. As you probably know, I've done a lot of ad spots for Verve in the past. They're a streaming service. They're great. They've been really good to me. And recently, they've been very good to me because a few months back, we actually partnered with each other to make a new show called Epithet Erased. Epithet Erased is an ensemble comedy show about people with superpowers based around a random word that is attached to their soul called an epithet. Except most of the powers are garbage and it's played for comedy. Uh, for example, the main characters have the powers dumb and soup. Uh, the story is about this little girl, Molly, who gets trapped overnight in this museum on the same night that a bunch of thieves break in to steal an artifact, and she has to deal with that. It's kind of like if you combined My Hero Academia and Home Alone and then made it stupider. Epithet Erased is a full-length, professionally produced show. Uh, this season is seven episodes. They all run about 25 minutes. It's got full voice work with pro VAs who've been absolutely killing it so far. Uh, it's got a full art team, soundtrack. It's all animated in a style similar to So This Is Basically, but it has some fully animated segments, like the opening theme, which are done by Powerhouse, the guys who do Netflix Castlevania, so that's very exciting. Epithet Erased will be premiering on Verve in October, and I'm really excited to talk more about it and show it off as we get closer to the release date. I'll be previewing little bits of the show on my Patreon until then. So be sure to use that link in the description below to get a free trial of Verve and get a head start right now. Get familiar with the service, check out all their cool shows, and be sure to keep an eye out for Epithet Erased coming in October. Thanks.